1057 The Point. It is Point Fest. I am Liv and I am joined right now. I'm so excited to have these guys here. Sleep Theory. Welcome. Hello, hello. What's How up? You doing? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I, I want to say this, and I want you to know that I'm not saying it lightly or flippantly, but I feel like you are one of those bands that we have here that you guys are on the cusp of blowing up. So to have you here today, uh, last year I interviewed Bad Omens. They opened the main stage. Now they're headlining tonight. And I feel like I see that with you guys. Thank you. Oh, You're thank so you, welcome. Too. You guys are doing such cool stuff right now. Uh, last I heard, Fallout was like the second most streamed. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. Been, it has been incredible, yes. That's amazing. So I did want to talk a little bit about uh, your origins. I saw a little bit online, but I wanted to talk about it uh, with Paolo. In Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Please tell me about this story. <laughs> uh, I was starting to stream video games, right? And I uh, found a Blue Yeti mic on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, one of his friends uh, works at GameStop. Yeah. And then we kind of like, you know, met and uh, went to a birthday party, which is his birthday party. And I met him at the birthday party. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, was, it wasn't my birthday party. It was uh, it was uh, another just friend. A yeah, friend. It was just a mutual Yeah, it was just a, a party and he came and he was just, he just started playing uh, My Heart by Paramore. Oh. And uh, at the time it was just myself and the project. I had started it and just was getting the idea of what we wanted to do for sound and whatnot. And um, I heard him singing and I was like, dude, you gotta come to the studio. And he was like, no, I'll just do photography for free. And I was like, no, and no I way. continued to peer pressure him, and uh, he decided to go ahead and hop in, and he picked up bass, and uh, from there on, um, he went back to his old job, yep. and then I by went back chance, to my old job and met these two right here. Yeah. Oh, yep. so then you recruited these guys. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Buy one, take yeah. one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Package deal. So did you envision that you were going to have a band, or were you just thinking, I'm just going to do solo, my own no, thing? No, the, the idea was to, to to always have a band and get a band. It's just, uh, I, you know, just finding the sound, that I guess, it's easier to whenever, uh, well, it wouldn't have been that way with these, because we all mend together really well. Sure, but yeah. my experience uh, in local bands was that whenever you get a, a group of guys together, there's a lot of bickering back and forth of what you want the sound to be. Yeah. So I figured I'd get the sound that I wanted and then pitch it to people and see like if they were interested in Smart. being a part of it. So that's why I was working with our producer that we continue to work with now. And um, they hopped on and they were just like, this is a sound that we're interested in. And everybody yep. just, right. yeah. we all just mended together. Well, with that in mind, when you guys were being pitched, what drew you to the sound? Hmm. Well, I remember, uh, I remember back when us three were working together. We were working night shift, and it was it was awful. <laughs> of course. And we were on one of our like 3 a.m. breaks or something like yeah. that. And Paolo was like, "Hey, I've got this song that uh, we've kind of me and my band's kind of been working on. You guys should hear it." And we were like, "Oh, okay, cool. Like, <laughs> sure." He's like downplaying the whole thing, and he showed us another way, like the demo of it. And I remember me and Ben like from the very we get go, just looked at each other and we were we like, were like Whoa. there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, this is really, really good. Like, yeah. it has the sounds that we've grown up listening to. Like, right. all of us, all four of us have similar tastes in music. Right. Um, and writing styles. And writing yeah. styles. So it all just kind of, like Cullen says, it just, it just works. Yeah, regardless, works. and the music that we're writing now, it's still in line of, you know, like everything. There, we didn't have very many songs done before they came along. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like everything that we have done has have done. You know, um, you know, like it's it's. How, how can I say it? Everything is just. It's still the sound that we're looking for. Yeah. We all right. have collectively right. written. And, yeah. Yeah. You you went from your brainchild to now you have come into the brainchild. Right. Yes. You're all right, operating right. on the same wavelength. Yes. That's yeah. incredible. And Paper Hearts, absolutely incredible. Thank you. Uh, are you riding that wave for a while? Or are you looking at maybe a longer album? Um, What's next? Well, it's been performing a lot, like really it's, well, it's but better really than we well. thought. We, like we knew it was gonna be good, <laughs> but yeah. it's it's, uh, it's performing really well. So we're gonna kind of we're we have cool stuff coming yeah. June twentieth. June twentieth. June twentieth. Okay, cool mark stuff. your calendars. Look out. Yeah. Super excited to hear what you guys have next. Super excited to hear you guys hit the stage. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Sure. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you. Yeah.